Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jono from Gluck Orthodontics. We're back for Ask Dr. Gluck number six. How much schooling do you need to be an orthodontist? That's a great question. So you'll start off with four years of college. After that, you'll go to dental school. Now, when you're in college and you're applying to dental school, you'll take what's known as the DAT, the Dental Admissions Test. That's very similar to the MCAT for medical school. It'll cover science topics, math, reading and writing, and it also has an additional section called the PAT, Perceptual Ability Test, which uh, assesses your ability to kind of think and see uh, in three dimensions in your mind. Uh, after dental school, which is four years, you'll then apply to orthodontic residency. Again, very similar to in medicine. Orthodontic residency is two to three years. So all told, you're looking at about 10 or 11 years after high school to become an orthodontist. The nice thing is once you finish residency, you're ready to get out and start working um, and you're good to go. So great question. We get that all the time. Um, if people are interested in orthodontics, you're always welcome to come visit us at our practice. Just reach out to us uh, as part of Ask Dr. Gluck. If anything else comes up, find us on Facebook at Gluck Orthodontics, Instagram at Gluck Orthodontics, or email us, askdrgluck at gmail.com. Thanks.